Hi everyone, I'm Brian Ewell, the Master Superintendent of Uplands Golf Club. I'm here today with our head golf professional, Ian Stone, as well as our golf course architect, Mr. Jeff Mingay. We're on the first tee, we're just talking about some tee expansion plans that's in Jeff's architect plan. And at this time, I'd like to hand the mic over to Ian and he could talk about the uh, amount of rounds that he's seen this winter. Ian. Thanks, Brian. Uh, yeah, I know, uh, I know we speak to it often, but uh, I just love to, to hammer home the point that we are seeing a, a vast rise in the amount of rounds that we're, uh, we're seeing here at the golf club, month over month, week over week. You know, we're, we're kind of breaking records from last year of, of the amount of rounds that we're doing. And and it's, you know, it's taking a toll on everybody, but just a big thank you to, to all the membership for their patience and their understanding through these uh, difficult and unprecedented times. What kind of rounds are you seeing, Ian? Uh, how many rounds a day are we seeing on average? Uh, currently, so we're for first week of March right now. Uh, last year, we were 165 to 180 rounds on a busy day uh, at this time uh, last year, uh, or 2019, I suppose. And this year, we're seeing uh, 214 all the way up to 230 rounds a day uh, yeah, on a busy day right now. So. 60 to 60 to 70 more rounds per day uh that's uh you know that's 15 tee times that's an hour and 40 minutes more play than than we're normally seeing so excellent thank you Ian. and as a guy that is managing the grass the first tee here definitely we get a lot of play sitting up on the front of this tee and uh, very difficult for us to maintain healthy turf so We've got our golf course architect here with Jeff Mingay. And Jeff, maybe you could just talk about what kind of expansions we're looking to do here. What do you see uh, in future? So first of all, I mean, with the amount of play that the golf course is getting, you cannot have enough tee surface area. Um, as Brian just mentioned, you can see the wear on most of the tees. So what we're going to do is increase the tee surface area at the first hole by significantly increasing the size of the forward tee. The cross, uh, asphalt path that crosses between the tees will go away. The forward tee will be extended back toward where the gray markers are now. Again, uh, we'll probably triple the size of that tee just to give Brian and his staff uh, more room to spread wear and tear. But that's also going to provide a lot of variety in terms of setup as well. You know, you'll be able to flip the, the grays in particular, right? Forward and back. Um, these expanded tee surfaces. Cart path extension? Yeah, also the cart path on the left, you see the wear left of the uh, forward tee, that path is going to be extended up toward the fairway to alleviate the pressure that that particular area is, uh, is suffering through because of uh, all the cart traffic as well. Well, that's excellent, Jeff. Thank you very much for uh, coming out to Uplands today. He's quite busy uh, doing some other architectural work in Victoria here, and we've got a good plan, and we hope to start this project sometime in the beginning of April, and we'll keep you posted. Happy golfing. After the heavy use on the golf course this past winter, it became quite evident that we needed to expand our first tee. With over 200 rounds a day through the winter, during non-growing conditions, we were seeing steadily decline on our turf. The original plan was to extend the lower tee deck on the first hole. But the golf course architect Jeff Minge came out and visited the course in mid-February and recommended that we encompass the green tee into a newer, larger third tee deck. We would now take the green tee and combine it with this new lower larger tee deck that would be used primarily as a green tee as well as the gray tee blocks could be placed there during the winter time. We will also pave a 10 foot wide path well past the green tee area that will allow golfers to exit the path in many different areas to reduce wear. We will be starting this project on Monday, April 12th, while the front nine holes are closed for greens aeration. It will take approximately two days to complete the project, and then we will remove sod from the front of the driving range tee deck and sod this new tee. Weather permitting, the tee should be back in play within a month. In the meantime, we would mow a temporary tee to the right of this new tee deck so we have space for our green tee uh, deck users. 
Some other course updates is we've removed some tree stumps on the left of number three and uh, three trees as well. And now we've been able to expand our fairway. The original fairway was quite tight next to a road and a little bit intimidating for a golfer. Now with the expansion of this fairway, we're able to mow this out to fairway height and golfers will feel more comfortable hitting the ball to the left off the tee. We have also mowed the mound just short of the third green to the left and now this will play at fairway height so it'll create some character as you're playing this hole. As well we've widened the fairway a little bit closer to the green that's a little bit fairer for golfers as they approach the green. Now the third hole will play much wider on the left hand side and be more comfortable for you as you play this hole. One of the other changes that we've made is to the left of number two green we are starting to mow this out to fairway height. This rough will now be cut down at fairway height so golfers will be able to chip or putt on this left side very similar to what we're doing on the left of our fourth hole so it'll provide a wide variety of different shots. Over time the turf will become denser and the putting ability will improve and by mid-season we should have some great golf shots over on the left side of number two green. The existing fairway was up tight to the green and now this new fairway height will provide a, a lot of different shots. Happy golfing everyone. Mm -hmm.